Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is another video in tips and tricks for Microsoft Access. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the conditional or how to apply the conditional formatting and we will be looking at the basic conditional formatting. We'll be looking at the advanced, a little bit advanced conditional formatting. So if you are interested in learning how to apply conditional formatting in Microsoft Access forms and reports, then Keep watching until the end. Hopefully, you will learn a thing or two from this video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. In any case, if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. All right, let's go ahead and let's apply condition formatting. Now, I've got a form, and this form has the products information. All right, so we've got category, product type, product name, status. Some of the products are active, some of the products are marked inactive. So I want to have the condition formatting that will visually tell the user that, you know, the, these products are active and one of these is inactive, by the way. So visual um, information the user can have or the user can get. So that's, that's the one I'm going to focus on. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a form, by the way, it's not a report, just to tell you. And now we will go to the design view of the form. I'm going to select the status column. We'll go to the format tab in the ribbon. And under the control formatting, I'll go to the condition formatting. And in here, I have this combo box. Oh, sorry. I have this uh, uh, pop up uh, that appears and it has selected the status field here because I have selected status field here. All right. So, this is important that's why i'm i'm uh, pointing out in this area okay now i'm going to create a new rule all right now there are a couple of things right so you have a field view uh, sorry field value is expression is field has focus so you have different um uh, different ways of applying the condition formatting also you have some um you know the controls you can have for example if the information is between not between equal to not equal to greater than less than all of that you can use uh, for applying the condition formatting in this case i'm uh, focused on equal to all right so in here i'm going to have a very simple condition formatting rule and i'm going to say hey if the status equals to active then color it green so for example this light green all right and make it a little bit bold i can make the color of the text as well a little bit uh, dark green you know you can play around you can you can see uh, how good looking you report or access form you want you can just do the modification as per your liking or your customer's liking so let's apply that let's click ok and let's go to the form view and let's see if we have got the condition formatting applied and we, here we go rest assured we have all the statuses that are active are marked as a light green background green color uh, detect let's do the same for the inactive statuses but for inactive we'll mark them as red okay actually so we'll create a new rule we'll uh, select the value is equal to and in this time inactive and we'll have right color and we'll have dark red and we'll make it bold click ok apply ok and now if we'll go to the form view now we can see all the inactive statuses are marked as red so this is one very simple way of applying conditional formatting it gives uh, a good user experience so they can visually see and it makes uh, easier for them now how about know what's that okay how about if i want to apply the condition formatting on the entire row so if you're thinking that hey uh, would it be nice to have the light red color going across the row the answer is yes we can apply the condition formatting for the entire row based on the data 
which is displayed in one of the column and how do we do that well let's go and see that okay we'll go to back go back to design view what i'm going to do first is i'm going to get rid of the uh, rules that we have uh, applied and we finish that then i'm going to select all of the columns all right so entire row all the cells or fields whatever you want to call them i will select all of them and now i'll go to the format and this is formatting remember last time we selected status it only shows one column name status but this time we're saying multiple and that's what exactly we are looking for now we'll go to the new rule and this time instead of value field value is i'm going to choose the expression okay and i'm going to click on dot 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 and here we are in little old expression builder very powerful by the way and fantastic feature by microsoft access so in here we are going to uh, define what exactly we are looking for so we'll say okay um we'll say status okay the status equals if all right and we'll click okay and now we will go ahead and mark it as no light green we'll keep the text as it is and click okay apply okay and let's see if the condition formatting is working and this time i would like to see the entire row to be uh greenish all right let's go ahead and go to the form view and rest assured we have the condition formatting applied in all the columns based on the column data now how about inactive well we follow the same procedure we'll go to the design view we select all the fields we'll go to the format condition formatting new rule uh, remember you have to check this is multiple selected new rule we go to the expression builder dot 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 and in here we will apply the condition formatting again we are applying based on the status column and status if the status equals to inactive then apply the condition formatting which means make it as light red and click ok apply ok now if we will go to the form view you can see that the light red color is applied throughout the row so here we go you can see how you know you can use this functionality and adopt this and apply that onto your day-to-day uh, -day, uh, uh, application that you are creating actually so the user that use this application day-to-day -day, the one that you will make uh, will have visual uh, presentation which looks nicer okay so this is how you apply the condition formatting on the form for one column and then to the entire row based on the data chosen uh, from one column so that's how you do that now the question is can it be applied onto the report uh, absolutely yes the answer is absolutely yes so we'll go to the i have made a report it's a dummy data of course financial statement and i've got revenue cost profit and in the last we have got the percentage profit percentage now what i want is i want if the profit is zero between zero to 30 then um you know apply the condition for make it red color let's say and if it is between 30 to 60 then apply you know yellow light yellowish i'm just thinking on top of my head that's why i'm uh, struggling a little bit and if it is greater than 60 percentage profit that's a good profit right and we make it as green pill so we want to uh, apply that now this time is going to be a little bit different so just pay attention okay so we'll go to the design view we'll select these uh, columns or fields and we'll go to the format tab we'll go to the condition formatting we'll click on and remember again multiple we'll click on new rule and i'm going to choose the expression is i'm going to go to the um uh, dot 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 in here now we are going to use the if statement this time okay so we'll say if and this time we're looking at profit percentage field all right 
So if the profit percentage is less than or equal to, I think that's how it is, or uh, equal to less than, I think that's how it is. Uh, we'll see. If it gives error, uh, you know, we'll crack it. But I think that's how it is. If it is less than or equal to 30%, now, when we are writing 30%, we will write 0.3. That's the value of 30%. If true, then one. If false, then zero. And we'll close the parenthesis. Click OK. And what we want is the background color light red. Click. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Okay. So this equals to sign comes here. And we click OK. And we apply that. We click OK. And let's see if the condition formatting is applied. So we'll go to the uh, report view. And here we go. 0 to 30 percent if equal to or less than 30 percent then it's the background color is light red now let's go and repeat the same and then we'll uh, now this time we will choose between operator so how do we do that we'll go to the design view we select the fields we'll go to the format tab for the condition formatting we create a new rule and this time we'll say expression is dot 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 and I want to choose the operator. So the operator I'm looking for is a comparison operator. And it's basically between operators. So first, I'm going to type in if statement. And the uh, if statement and the between operator. And in here, I'm going to write um, uh, the profit percentage because that's the field we are looking for. Between point so between 30 to 60 percent that's what i'm looking for so 0.3 to 0.6 if that's the case then one else else it is zero like okay and we'll make it light yellowish right and we'll click okay and we apply click okay and let's go ahead and see and here we go we have the light yellow color as a background now if it is greater than 60 percent we want it to be green background color so we'll go to design view and we select again we go to the format tab condition formatting new rule expression builder we are going to look for that and we'll say if profit percentage all right if it is greater than or equal to, i think that's how it is but we'll see again uh, 0.6 60 percent above and then we'll make it true one false zero close parenthesis click ok and we want this to be light green color click ok apply ok and now we'll go to report view and here we go so this is how you apply condition format this is a little bit advanced according to me right this is not normal condition of formatting so what I let's let's just summarize less. You know, I've speaking I've been speaking a lot in this video. So let me just slow down. Let me just summarize what we did. So what you have seen, ladies and gentlemen, is we have seen the condition formatting applied onto a form for a particular column status. Then we moved on and we thought, okay, can we apply the condition formatting to the entire row? And we did that in the form. Then we move to the report and we ask a question can we apply condition formatting for the report? And the answer is absolutely yes. And if we apply the condition formatting in the report, we are going to do the comparison. So we use the expression builder, we look at the comparison between operators and less than operator, greater than operator, and we have applied the condition formatting. And this condition formatting will be changed dynamically based on the data. Uh, which is being presented onto the report or form. So that's this is how you uh, apply the condition formatting. I hope that you have learned something in this video. If you have, let me know in the comments below. Even if you have not, do let me know still in the comments below. And um, I hope uh, that you will subscribe to the channel. I hope that you will also smash the like button if you have liked whatever you have seen. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.